How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Journeyman. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe. And we are here for uh, episode 7 of The Journeyman. And of course, the start of season 2. Yes, as you can see, we are still at Brackley Town. We're going to be talking about our transfers and kick off the season as well. But as always, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and tickle that notification bell. So you are notified when all the new videos go out. Should be Monday to Friday at 6pm if I've done my job correctly. Um, we're streaming the loads on Twitch as well this week. Twitch.tv forward slash Dave as a party. Link is in the description down below. So today we're going to kick off the season. I'm going to show off the transfers. Show you how we've got on in pre-season. And I've got to say with the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the transfers, I'm fairly happy with them. I'm still umming and in. I think we definitely need a few more faces in. But... I'm going to explain it a little bit more. So we'll jump onto the transfers. A couple of uh, moves going on. Andy Tanoy, uh, of course, other YouTubers, Dr. Benji in particular, have has uh, lots of history with this guy. He may well be coming in. Uh, but as you can see, we've signed a number of players. At the end of last season, it doesn't really show players that were uh, released. But you can see majority of our first team was released. So we personally still have work to do. Uh, but we'll talk through our transfers. I do need to do... Bring uh, put some of the face packs on for these players. But the first one being Jaden Forrester from Wolves. Uh, winger. Now, we never had an actual natural left winger last season. Um, so he's come in and he looks good. He's fairly quick for this level. Good crossing. And I like the look of him a lot. Decent uh, current ability. Decent potential ability. He's doing okay in the friendlies as well. So looking forward to seeing him on the left-hand side. Uh, next up is Ben Margotson, who is coming from Cardiff. Predominantly a right back. Again, a good player. Um, decent tackling on him. And again, he's, he's okay. It's hard at non-league level to sort of pick out big attributes. But uh, Harvey Neville is another one that can play both sides of full back, uh, left and right back. He came in uh, from Manchester United. He played for Valencia as well. A crazy career for him already. Dropping down to Brackley, uh, but physically very, very good. So, um, yeah, I think he's going to be a decent option for us. Uh, Arjun Reiki as well has come in from Aston Villa. Uh, represents India at an international level. And again, a fantastic a decent player for us to bring in. Uh, Zach Brown has come in, a centre back, uh, six foot one, decent tackling, marking, and heading, um, decent pace and acceleration as well. Uh, Nathaniel Orafu, now I like I like this guy a lot, central midfielder. You can see straight away that 16 determination. He's going to grow uh, quite a lot as a player. Good uh, pace and acceleration, and just some really decent uh, technical attributes with his long shots. Hopefully, we'll see him uh, bag a couple of big goals and decent passing, tackling, and first touch. Uh, Lloyd Marsh Hughes, he came in on a free from Chester. Again, I like him a lot as a forward. Uh, decent finishing, six foot tall. Uh, good penalty taking, good passing. I think it's a pressing forward, to be fair, with that passing. Again, good determination. I think he's going to be a really, really decent player for us. Uh, Adam Parks is coming as well. He's a goalkeeper. Um, he could be our first choice. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sold just yet. And then uh, our most recent signing, Kyron Lofthouse, has come in. Um, again, he could play sort of on the right or left. Uh, of course, we'll play him as a right or left winger, really. So he's not too bad, but... Still a lot of moves to go on. We've got a couple of lads in on trial, two strikers, because, of course, we kept Leon Lubu. Um, I don't think we signed enough. We've not signed enough. You can see the squad straight away is very, very small. Uh, but we've got a couple of lads in on trial, so we'll see over the next couple of weeks. Their attributes will start to crop up a little bit and see what we've got there. Um, but you can sort of see down here, obviously, the income is, has been okay this month. Uh, but wages, uh, we're only current wage total is 4500 where... We've more or less halved the wage budget this season with the squad. So in terms of actual, you know, financially, we have done really well. Look, last season, right, in October, when we joined around about 9.45k our wage budget to now, it's 2.93. It's just shot up to four and a half. But that is really, really decent. I think we've got a really decent squad as well. So still work to do. We kept a couple of players, of course. Um, bring in some players that are on part-time or non-contracts up to sort of part-time contracts. And a couple of young lads in from the uh, the youth team as well, like John Buckley, who was a backup goalkeeper. Um, so I'm satisfied with the team, but I'm pretty sure, you know, the transfer window is open throughout. So we'll look to continue bringing in lots of faces and players um, and hopefully kick off the season on a strong one with St Albans. Preseason was okay. I mean, not not fantastic, but a one 0 defeat to Oxford. Beat hardly five goals to nil. Um, 
we lost out to Northampton, actually, one goal to nil. But we then played Watford. We were 2 0 up in this game. Leon Lubu scoring two goals. And then Watford, of course, had a strong team out as well. Kina, Penaranda, uh, Perica, and Firmina scoring to, in the end beat us. And then in our most recent game, we lost 3 2 to Salisbury. Um, so not an ideal one, but uh, we play St Albans next up. Uh, just have a quick look at the season preview. We are predicted to finish 8th, so they're backing us to have a pretty good squad, which is nice to see, of course. Um, St Albans, who we're playing in the first game, are down there in 21st. So you'd hope, you would hope that we should be a favourite for this game. But like I say, plenty of players yet still to come in, guys. A couple of positions, especially those forward positions, I do want to go and strengthen. So I'm going to select the team for today's game, and then we will go and jump into it. So then here we are with the first team of the season, guys. And uh, for us, uh, hopefully some names we will become familiar with over the next season or so. So Adam Parks in goal, Harvey Neville will start at right back, uh, Cullinane Libbard and Heinz in the uh, centre-back positions with Tristan Cover at left back uh, as captain. Ben Margotson is also playing at right midfield today, Shane Byrne in the centre with Arjen Reiki and Jaden Forrester starting on the left and a front two of Marsh Hughes and Unlubu. So we're sticking, uh, for the time being guys, we're sticking with our 4-4-2 and uh, here we go. St Albans at home versus Brackley Town. Our first full season in charge, of course, of Brackley because we joined sort of halfway through the last campaign and I'm um, hoping that we can get off to winning ways. You can see by the stats early doors that we've started off quite brightly. About 20 minutes gone though, so we'll uh, just drop a little encourage on the lads to see if we can uh, give them a little nudge to try and force uh, an early goal or so. But it looks like it's going to be a quiet first half hour, but there is a throw in here for St Albans. We've lost out. Cleared up uh, only as far as Sundaya. Whittington now. Sundaya again into Whittington. And so the Albans with a bit of a ropey pass, but they get away with it. And flicked on here. And they could go one the up, and they have. So not an ideal start for us this season. And it's Ibra Sakaya, who has scored the goal just under half an hour gone. And St. Albans lead. We never really caught possession of that, did we? That's pretty disappointing. Okay, Sakaya scoring which isn't great and St Albans 1-0 up so we've got to uh we've got to react to that really we'll uh, fire them up now see if we can grab a goal at just sort of as soon as we can really cover down this left hand side so and lovely lovely flick on for Forresto who hits the woodwork a really decent effort on goal probably you know should have scored we may get another chance here uh, throw, uh, throw in corner free kick in and it was uh Kalinane Libbard at the back post. But uh, yeah, we've reacted fairly well. Our XG is a lot higher, but uh, half time it looks, yeah, we are 1 0 down. Hitting the woodwork, coming very, very close. You can see there, we should probably have scored. Uh, not the most ideal of uh, first games and first halves to the season, though, guys. And um, really need to see if we can bounce back. If we turn it around, that would be ideal. We had good fighting and desire uh, last season. I'm going to start berating them now, though, because we haven't really started off this second half too well either. And we've got 20 minutes to go now, and we are 1-0 down. So we're going to start going a little bit more attacking. We're going to shove Jaden Forrest up to the left there. I'm going to bring uh, Lofthouse on on the right-hand side. Uh, is Forrester left-footed? He is left-footed. Is Lofthouse left-footed or right-footed? He is right-footed. Okay, we'll keep them both as wingers for the time being. And we've got a Rafu as well who I may well bring on for Shane Byrne. Um, we'll keep him as a ball-winning midfielder, and we'll see how that goes. So we are still 1-0 down here. We are going to go a little bit more attacking, though, for this last 10-15 minutes of the game. But uh, things aren't looking ideal, guys. And it looks like it's going to be a boring, boring 1-0 defeat. Um, let's go a little bit more direct. Let's up the tempo slightly as well. Um, let's try and just get the ball out a little bit quicker. We're going to go even higher for that defensive line. Can we see a difference? We may well throw in here on the left-hand side for us. Cover down to Unlovu. Need him in the box, really, but it's a big ball over to Forrester. Oh, it's left. It's come in for Lofthouse. Get in. The substitute has scored on the right-hand side. It's Lofthouse. So we got a little bit fortunate with that, but that's exactly what we need. It came from Kuba. Nice little flick on uh, back there from Unlovu. Great ball over the top. Forrester, it's a big tackle. They'll be, uh, they're quite unfortunate that really. But Lofthouse, right place, right time. Gets a goal on his debut, the substitute. 
And uh, you look at Forrester's run, well on side. And uh, yeah, we'll take that all day, every day. Can we push then, chat? I say chat, viewers. Uh, can we push for a late winner? We've dropped it in Courage. Ah, it's unlikely. No, it's not. Okay, St. Albans won. Brackley won to kick off the season, guys. A very dominant performance. You look at the stats there. This is a group of players that have never played a, co a competitive game before. I'm going to say they were unlucky. Uh, never played a competitive game together before. And, of course, that morale, uh, that cohesion will grow across the season. And, uh, yeah, we, a positive performance, definitely. Um, you know, you look at some of the some of the individual performances there. Could have been a little bit better. Could have had a, a couple of clear-cut opportunities. But, uh, yeah, we'll take that, I think. Um, we've got a few plays in on trial as well. And there'll be plenty of room for growth with this team. We've got lots of money, lots of wage bill uh, budget to spend. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'll be aiming to do uh, soon. So we'll uh, be back very, very shortly with uh, another episode. If you did enjoy it today, be sure to hit the like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know in the comment section how do you think we're going to be getting on this season in The Journeyman. Until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.